found. Steaming, steaming, steaming. I'm steaming. I'm steaming. Alright, so, see you in a minute. That good old still water. Hydrate, family. Stay hydrated. Text somebody, remind them, drink some water. Yeah, man, I like this distilled water. I'm looking forward to having my own distiller. <clears throat> and that's one expense I cut down when it comes to making this ambrosia. Filtered. I just thought about something. Hmm. All right. The raw and filtered. Yeah. I'm gonna start brewing probably Ujima of this week. So those people that want to get some, you know what I'm saying? I might have some now. I'm experimenting with cherry this time. Because black folks love red Kool-Aid. So I'm going to find me some healthy cherry. We're going to talk a little bit about what cherry does. Like great. We got great Kool-Aid. We got great ambrosia. We're going to work on trying to get some cherry ambrosia, right? So I think I might use that one to take the place of the beats. Unless the people want the beat. You know what I'm saying? If they personally order beats, I'm going to do that. Alright, first... Sending shots out to the creator by whatever name you choose, call that creator. We lift up our glass and we toast that creator and we say our shay. From there we move to our personal ancestors and we say we call on our personal ancestors. We remember them because they remembered us. In fact they named us. They they made a space for us in this world to 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 come to, you know what I'm saying? And even if they wasn't expecting us, they made room. Treated us as, as guests, as honored guests for a while, and, and, and loved on us, right? So we toast those personal ancestors. I'll go through my line, <clears throat> and 
hopefully he'll go through yours when you view this. Miles Brown, Lizanne, Robert and Texan and Davis, Herbert Brown, C. Rosalie, Tilly, Georgia, William Walton, Christopher and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Nina, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, um, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, uh, Jamon Jones, uh, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillard, Mama Malika, Numo X, Dr. Marianne Williams, Elder Donaldson, mm, I think that's it for this morning, that's all that came to me this morning, so we toast them, and we lift them up, and we say ashe, we lift yours up, we say ashe, and then we move to the mo present moment, today is a mojo, great emoji. we're going to be talking about steam in a day, y'all, so we just lift up the glass, we say Shay, right? Remember, in the moment is where your power is. Last but not least, we toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity. We remember them in advance so they can remember us when it's their time. We toast them. We say our Shay on my fault. I said last, but this is the last one. We toast all of you out there. If there's anything that you need your ancestors to move on, we toast and we ask as a community. We ask as a group. We ask as a tribe for our ancestors to move and to work for us and to open doors that were once shut for us. We ask them to, in a sense, help us smash them down. We, out, we ask them to help us rebuild culture. We ask them to help us build nations. We ask them to help um, sustain our families. We ask them for health. Um, with that, we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I wish you peace. Power, joy, and 100 years. <sighs> Got the probiotics. All right, Facebook. All right, fam. It's us. Today we're gonna be talking steaming. So we're gonna do, we're gonna take our little supplements, we're gonna keep it moving, and we're gonna get the building, alright? Let's see. Let's start with the ones that don't stain first. Remember we reviewed coconut oil? Take a little bit. Uh oh, look at that, y'all. Yeah, we approaching the time for me to start brewing. Yeah. Might be a nice week this week. Jump off that fat burner, alright? Well, we're gonna do this one next. Get our beta carotenes. Help with our eye health. Give us, a, give us a little bit of extra nutrition. Make it through the day. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't mean to be popping my lips. Hold on. paper just for that so I use that for something else all right okay what's that you know what that is a black seed oil we taking it steaming today. Alright, those of you that's been with me for a while know that I'm a big proponent of steaming. Um, uh, some of you probably like the food raw. Um, I, I, could, I could eat some raw food, but I kind of like some heat on my food. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
but I don't want to overcook it. So I like using the steamer. So I'm going to introduce y'all to my steamer. But before we do that, we're going to look at five big benefits of steaming food. This is from, let's see, I look like this is called Me The Rest. Alright, here we go. There are five good reasons to eat steamed food. One, lower cholesterol. When cooking meats such as lamb or pork, Steaming removes that fat from the meat so it can be easily discarded, whereas conventional cooking methods such as grilling, baking, or frying cook that fat into the meat. Getting rid of the fat makes the meat lower in calories and lower in cholesterol, Also, steaming removes the need for cooking oil or fat, which results in a light, light and healthier meal. Well, y'all know I'm, I'm a proponent of fat. Right? I'm just saying, but... You know, for those that's looking for that lower cholesterol, preserves the fiber, color, and flavor of vegetables. By steam cooking, the vegetables are kept as close to their natural raw state as possible, while still heat through thoroughly. This not only prevents the vegetable from turning into mush or mash or puree, but it also allows them to retain their original color, taste, um, juices and freshness if you want to add some aromatic flavor to the food you can add herbs and spices to the water so that means down in the base you can throw some herbs and spices in there and as they heat up that steam will go up in there and that flavor will be put in there now i'm gonna try that um, retain vitamins and minerals many of the vitamins and minerals found in vegetables are lost with some conventional methods of cooking steaming ensures that vitamins such as vitamin b Riboflavin, thiamine, niacin, biotin, B12, pantho, pantothenic acid, and vitamin C, as well as minerals such as calcium, phosphorus, potassium, zinc, are retained. It's quick and easy. I agree. I definitely agree with that. By cooking over a single heat source, you can have different layers of food stacked on top of the others, saving time and energy. I'll show y'all that with my steamer. No oil, no smoke, no mess. Cleaning up is easy. What else can we say with that one? Alright, so. We got five good benefits from steaming. Of course, we know there's others. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share and show you my steamer. Alright? So, and how, how it works so that you can see for yourself. And then, like I said, I suggest... I suggest, I suggest fam, that some of y'all are going to get steamers, especially those of you that's looking for um, healthy alternatives, right? Because like I said, I, I'm i not a raw dude. I can't, I'm not, I can't do the raw. I ain't going to say I can't do the raw, but I, I like some heat on my food. All right, so, but let's go. All right, fam, so here we go. <clears throat> now, this is the steamer, all right? This is the base of the steamer. This is the water reservoir right here. Water goes in. You pour the water in this, like this, like so. And this little thing right here, it goes, water goes down in there. And this heat generated down here and the steam comes out of this piece right here. You know, you got different look of steamers. This is one I use. Now, <clears throat> I suggest that those that are really interested and getting into steam, I don't know what's wrong with the picture. Those that are really interested into interested in getting in, getting into steaming, right? Go to the thrift store first before you buy um, a brand new steamer, okay? Because there's always a steamer. Almost, almost every time I go to a thrift store, I go to the back and I can find me a steamer. And I, have, I haven't used a new steamer in years. Um, you get them, you can clean them up real good. This one was uh, lightly used when I got it. Um, and I've been using it ever since. It has a handy dandy timer, right? So you could do, um, I mean, you could basically turn it on and leave because you can't really burn it when you steam it, right? I mean, you can over steam. Right, but it's not gonna burn, and it turns off, and and the timer usually go for about 90 minutes. Okay, so first part. 
So also in this right here, when you steam it, you can experiment and put herbs in there. I'm about to start doing that because I, I never thought about that. You know, you learn something new every day. This right here is the is the water catcher that you put in the steamer. So what happens is as the steam is coming out, it comes out through the little hole right here and it spreads out over the food and the steam goes up. It's captured at the top and it drips back down and this stops this stops the liquid from dripping back into the um, steamer because you only want water inside of here, right? You um, and this right here will get, will get caught right here. This makes an excellent gravy or a juice that you could drink. You know what I'm saying? I know that might sound crazy, but uh, if there's any vitamins, if there's any minerals that leak that that were leached off by the steaming, you will be able to catch it right here. And you can pour it right back onto um, your food. All right. Here's one of the food trays. All right. So you can put the food in there. Boom, boom. All right. Just put it. Just lay it right in there. All right. Turn the steamer on. Let it go. All right. Now, for those like me, I'm a bean and rice man. You got your bowl that you can put in here. And you can steam, and I did say beans. Yes, you can steam beans, uh, just like you boil them. You put the water in, you know what I'm saying, and you let them steam. Especially like lentils, um, black eyed peas, um, um, almost any type of bean. The only one I have real trouble with steaming is black beans. Black beans are rough, right, and they take a very long time, so they never come out right for me in the steamer. But I'm still working on it, right? We'll get it. But I eat a lot of rice and a lot of beans and stuff like that. Um, I steam potatoes. I even steamed the African yam the other day, which we, we're going to continue our conversation about African yams. Um, yams, potatoes, um, almost anything that you want to cook, you can steam. I do fish in here. I've done chicken in here for my kids. All right? Now, this one is a little bit too high. So I take that off. Add that right there. I got a whole nother level. Oh, we done took it to we done took it to a whole nother level, fam. Look at that. You see that? Whole nother level, right? Boom. Oh. So now I gotta cook. I gotta cook um, beans and rice and have me some um, some cabbage down here or whatever down here because I got another bowl that I can use. I just didn't pull it out. Boom. Oh. That's the top. To hold the steam in, it drips down and get caught right down at the bottom. So I got the gravy right here. So what I'm about to do is I'm gonna put the steam on. I'm gonna steam my kids some eggs for for breakfast. Um, you know, and with that, I kept it up under half an hour. I'm gonna say peace, fam. I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, we'll get to some of the other deeper stuff later on, right? I'm going to say I kept it under half an hour. Kept it under half an hour. Those of us on the challenge, I know that you're starting the day, right? Stay strong. Keep moving. You got some new information coming out to you if you signed up. Um, we, we talked a little bit about the eye shape breath, and I took it a little bit deeper, and I sent it out just for those people on the Goose Saba Challenge. So, hey, I'm out. This is Brother Hot Tim. I wish you peace, power, and joy in 100 years. And with that, thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there. Peace.